the design work has had the highest priority to genuinely establish Volvo cars as a strong premium brand. The S90 has, of course, Taurus Hammer, like we introduced it with XC90, but we introduce a new element in the front, and that's what I really like about the front. It's how we shape the grille, how this 23 metal ribs are carved in a concave manner. It's an element that we derive from P1800. That's where Volvo showed this many years ago, the first time. And it's such an unusual way of treating a front volume and it's giving this nice, uh, proud attitude into the front. I'm personally very happy about the proportions of the S90. Why do we talk so much about proportion? Proportions are something that when you see a car on the road, it's something that you perceive immediately. Even in the corner of your eye, if you see a car passing by, you do realize if it's like in our case, the S90, lower, wider and longer than competition. On top of that, we have this great dash to axle measurement. What is dash to axle? It's the distance from the center of the front wheel to the dashboard, which symbolizes uh, premiumness, which is basically historically derived a distance that was needed to accommodate for large engines. So it created a long bonnet. This is something that we think is the entry ticket into the premium segment. The new SPA platform has given Thomas Ingenlath and his team the opportunity to develop a large sedan that exudes exclusivity, luxury and comfort. So the package that you get I think is very unique. It's on the one hand this very innovative limousine. I think you hardly get um, a better packaged car than that. And of course our offer in terms of this classy, stylish Scandinavian design. I mean, just the outside is such a sleek, elegant saloon and then you get into the inside and you have this fresh and modern, nice interior. I think that is really the most modern designed car with the greatest package you can get today. It is plain to see that Volvo has raised the car's interior to a completely new level. This is Swedish luxury at its very best. I think the special thing about the S90 interior is the approach we've taken. Normally you have a, a design and then you have to fit in there lots of switches and maybe put some bezels around air vents and maybe a bit of decorative wood. With this we actually started with the center, the very latest technology vertical iPad size screen and built the architecture around it in a very Scandinavian way. That's beautiful surfacing, making the best of the materials. And then the most important thing is we've put a, a chrome spline across the car all the way to the end that actually holds visually onto the end of the vents. And these uh, air vents, we've designed an air blade, which is influenced from the concept cars that we introduced before the XC90. So we've brought some nice design uh, elements. We've got some really beautiful materials and the solid decorative wood that is inserted into the design that has that real depth and solidity to it. I mean, there's hardly any plastic facing you. It's all these nice materials, the wood, the metal, the glass. Um, this is such a new statement in terms of interior design. I think it will definitely set a new standard.
The new Volvo S90 is not just a beautiful car to look at, it is also a car with new cutting-edge technology. This is based on the SPA architecture, so it has all the goodies that uh, the SPA architecture brings with it, and is tuned towards the driving experience that we want for Volvo. The new chassis has also given this car driving characteristics and road holding that really impress. We have the latest and greatest cutting edge technology for our suspensions. It is a double wishbone front suspension. It is a spring leaf suspension in the rear, which actually protects the interior of the car, the luggage compartment, of not being intruded by spring leaves. And it is also a weight reduction, and it can be really tuned better than any other setup. This is really what we call the Volvo performance and driving dynamics. And it's not going to be a copy of anything else out there. It's not that people want to have race cars in that segment. They want to have control, predictability and comfort. Volvo cars will also offer the new S90 with several exciting engine alternatives. The S90 will have a broad range of diesel and petrol engines, but there's one word, new thing which I would like to point out, which is actually a power pulse system that enables the diesel engines for a much better takeoff of performance. Actually, we're using compressed air to spin up the turbocharger in a very early situation of the takeoff, and with that, obviously, have a better acceleration and a much better performance experience. It's not just a beautiful car with cutting-edge technology. It's also one of the world's safest cars. Yeah, S90 plays a major role in our fulfillment of our long-term safety vision. In 2020, nobody should be seriously injured or even killed in a new Volvo. XC90 was the first and very important step towards that vision. S90 is following that and doing the next step towards this vision with two words first, one of which is large animal detection. And the next feature that also for us is so important in getting towards our safety vision is autonomous drive. S90 will deliver a semi-autonomous drive feature that works up to 130 kilometers per hour. Peter Mertens sees a great potential to attract many competitors' customers with Volvo Car's new cutting-edge technology. My favorite is the driving dynamics. It is a combination of really being in control, having a predictable reaction and the right comfort setting.